I'm gonna explain to you what the MVC architecture is in programming and I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know. MVC stands for Model View Controller and it is an architectural pattern that divides an application into three primary components, models, views and controllers. This separation helps achieve a clear division of concerns in our applications. Separating concerns or responsibilities in MVC makes the application easier to develop, debug and test because each part, either the model, the view or the controller, has a specific job. When responsibilities are mixed, like combining user interface and business logic, changes to one can affect the other, making updates and testing harder and more error prone. For example, user interface logic changes often, so if it's combined with business logic, you'd need to modify and retest both every time the interface changes. Now let's see each of these components in more detail. The model in MVC represents the information or the data the application operates on and handles the logic for processing this data. For example, if you have an application for managing books in a library, the model would represent the data about the books and the rules for adding, updating or removing books from the collection. A view in MVC is the part of the application that displays the data to the user. A controller that manages user input and interaction, determining which model types to work with and which view to render, effectively controlling the application's response to requests. You can click the video or the playlist on the screen if you want to learn how to build MVC web applications in ASP.NET Core. So click on the screen and I will see you in the next video.